Finding the surface area of a cylinder is no different than any other shape. First, let's start by finding the individual components of the cylinder. We can see that the top and bottom shapes are just circles with a radius of 4. Using pi r squared, we'll get an area of 16 pi for both the top and bottom circles. Now this is an interesting part here. We've got kind of a circular shape that's forming the body of the cylinder. To better understand this, let's take a second and think about toilet paper, or a toilet paper roll for that matter. We can see that this toilet paper roll can represent the body of a cylinder. Imagine cutting that toilet paper roll long ways and then unfolding it. You can see that if we cut it and unfolded it and rolled it across, that body of the cylinder would form a rectangle. And that's the key to finding the surface area of a cylinder. This newly formed rectangle is going to have a length of 2 pi r. That's the circumference of the toilet paper roll. 2 pi r. And the width is just going to be the height of that toilet paper roll. Taking that back to our original cylinder, we're going to get a rectangle with a length of 8 pi. That's 2 pi r. 2 times 4 times pi. 8 pi. And a height a width of 10. The area of that rectangle is going to be 80 times pi. And adding up all our pieces, we're going to get 16 pi plus 16 pi for the top and bottom circles, plus 80 pi for this midsection rectangle, giving us a total surface area of 112 pi inches squared. 